Sydney McLaughlin is starting to find herself in a in a in a tier list that only the top of top get to. And what I mean by that is the GOAT tier list in whatever sport. Like Michael Phelps. Michael Phelps is the GOAT at the Olympics when we talk about swimming. There is not a person on this earth that is anywhere close to that. I think the next closest person is probably what Katie Ledecky. Like when we talk about the face of swimming, arguably the face of uh, the Olympics, you don't get too much further than Michael Phelps. Simone Biles. Simone Biles is the face of gymnastics. Uh, she was incredible. She is incredible. There's a reason why she knows that she's the GOAT. There's a reason why she's widely considered the GOAT of gymnastics because she is her. That's what Simone Biles is for gymnastics. Oh, P.S. Sorry, don't. Let's these let's let's chill out on. Obviously, these aren't all the fans, but some people are very critical and and going at what Gabby Gabby Douglas. Yo, what 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 I think people don't understand is like. Not everyone can do one th- this thing forever, you know. Now, I don't know who I don't know her personally. I don't know if she said some discouragement. I don't know, but what I do know is this: Gabby Douglas's success doesn't doesn't shadow obviously Simone Biles' success or anybody from Team USA success. In the same breath. Simone Biles' success, uh, Suni Lee, uh, Jordan Childs, their success doesn't overshadow Gabby Douglas because cause she did it before. They're all different people. So for the people that are bullying Gabby Douglas, let's chill out, bro. It is never that serious, especially if we don't know them from a can of paint. Let that, let that young lady live her life. She's, I think, 20, 28. 27, 28, that's old for Olympics, for gymnasts. Let that woman live her life, bro. Like, what are we, what are we talking about, man? But back to what I was saying. When we talk about gymnastics, Simone Biles is pretty much the face of Olympic gymnastics. Well, when we talk about track and field, preferably the hurdles, Sydney McLaughlin is starting to get into that class if she's not already in that class of goat conversation. Almost every single time I hear Sydney McLaughlin, she breaks her own world record. I think she's broken her world record six times. One reason why Rebecca Andrade was so large and so big this Olympics is because usually when there's somebody like Simone Biles in the field, there isn't, even in Team USA, there isn't usually a competitor close to that person. When Michael Phelps was doing what Michael Phelps is doing, there really wasn't a competitor close to him. It was him in the field. If he lost, it was a major upset. There really wasn't much there, there really wasn't too many people that can say, oh, I'm on the same level or close to Michael Phelps or uh, Simone Biles. So the fact that someone like Rebecca Andrade not only was close to Simone Biles, but beat her in a in a in a competition. That's why she was so she was so big in this Olympics also obviously coming off the ACL injuries and everything but the reason why if you're even close to these people you get recognized it's because usually what what we're seeing with Sidney McLaughlin in this instance is there's not anyone really close like think about it the world record she said was 50.37 for the 400 meter hurdles. 
50.37 seconds. The next best person, the person that won silver, shouts out to, I think it was Anna Cockrell. Yeah, Anna Cockrell. She did it 51 seconds. Almost a whole two, almost a whole two seconds more. And she was American, so shout out to her. So what I'm saying is, this is me honestly saying congratulations to Sydney McLaughlin for winning gold and completely dominating in the women's 400 meter hurdles. She is the epitome of when, when I think about women's track, there's a few names that come to mind at this point. American women's track. There is Allison Felix. There's Flo Jo. Um, there's Shakara Richardson. Shouts out to her. And now that there, there's Sydney McLaughlin. And honestly, I'm putting Sydney McLaughlin way up before Shakara Richardson. No offense to her, but we're talking about someone that continues every, almost every single time she touches a track. She breaks the world record, which she has set. Again, she's done this like six times. So shouts out to Sydney McLaughlin for continu continuing to just be great. And again, I think she's starting to, if she's not already there, she's starting to creep into that GOAT status. When we talk, there's obviously, there's multiple, you know, Usain Bolt's in there, uh, Simone Biles, Michael Phelps, and I'm, I'm starting to think Sydney McLaughlin, especially for how dominant she is in her field, uh, I'm starting to think that she is creeping ever so slightly in that in that uh, category, man. So, shouts out to her. Oh, man, you stayed to the end of the video. I appreciate you. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you'll never miss any content from your boy. You can also go back and watch past episodes, past clips, and don't forget that the Unpopular Podcast new episodes drop every Wednesday and Saturday. Appreciate you.